Hi, this is Candace Stringham, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important things you can learn about your camera, and that is the difference between how you see and how your camera sees an image. When you're taking a photograph and your camera is metering, it looks at everything in the picture, everything that's light and everything that's dark, and it wants to make it middle gray. The problem with that is when you're in a setting that's bright like snow or with a bright sky in the background, your camera is metering and making that white gray. That's why when you get your photographs back after being out in the snow, you see blue instead of white or you see gray instead of white. So to overcome that, you have to think like your camera. You have to move into your subject, focus on your subject, and then move away. And the way you can know if you got the photograph is when you look at the back of your camera, you can hit the information button. And this works on all cameras, point and shoots, different cameras all have a histogram. What the histogram does is tells you what information you got in your photograph. It tells you if you got the low lights and it tells you if you got the highlights. Different photographs will have different histograms based upon what's in the photograph. If there's a lot of dark in the background, there'll be a peak in the dark section. If there's a lot of light in the background, there'll be a peak in the highlights. But what you always want to look for is that your peak goes from end to end. Even if it's just a small little bar that goes across, that means that you got all the information. So later on, when you're working on your photograph in Photoshop, you don't get blown out highlights or blacks that are so black you don't see any more detail. <laughs>